Chat. The name is Mario. Mario, Mario. I'll have a milk. Straight from the tit. <laughs> That's what he says, right? That's Mario's thing. I don't know why Mario became Homelander, but this is, um... It's Goldeneye with Mario characters. Dinosaur Yoshi. Defense Minister Pauline. Head of Special Forces Donkey Kong. Double Agent Toad. Head of Moonraker Forces Waluigi. R. Rosalina. E. Professor Egad. Gold coin. Toadette. Even Toadsworth. Man, they... Yeah. Alright, let me get this in full screen. So, I probably should have included this with that collection of Mario mods from a couple weeks ago. But... I didn't know it existed. And there was a new version that had just released. So, the new version includes a lot of fixes and stuff, but it includes the Mario 64 castle, which we're going to check out. But I want to check out a couple levels first. Also, I love that it's a Koopa. They didn't need to do that. Because every other level is just a screen, like a screenshot, a picture of the level, but surface? No, it's a Koopa. I'll just keep it simple. Go through the dam. Uh... Why is it looking like this? This isn't normal. Oh yeah, I tested it earlier. It works just fine. <laughs> Did I accidentally get corruptions? Yeah, corruptions are not until next week, so I don't know what the fuck happened here. Did you- No, I tested this level, too. This level worked. Oh, boy. Huh. Let me try that again. That is really weird. I went from full screen to windowed mode. I mean, I blew on the cartridge. And then I went from windowed mode back to full screen mode, and here we are. Strange, that. Now, if this was the version that was releasing on the Nintendo Switch, I would probably pay for that service. Nintendo doesn't have the balls. Bigger heads. Yeah, I guess this is easier because they are easier to kill. And their hitboxes are bigger, so, you know, you it's not like they have bigger heads, but they have small baby hitboxes. No, these are legit hitboxes. Also, I am using mouse. I could probably increase the sensitivity a little bit, but we'll just, uh, we'll forget about that. Oh yeah, the SNES mouse could be used on an N64, that's right. N64 had a mouse too. They called it the rat. How'd you see me from that far away, Cooper? What the hell? Field of Coopers. Let 
mean, this is probably generally what it's going to look like when it releases. Because they're not... I mean, aside from the Coopers, but... Um... Oh, I can't shoot them through the wall. Bustolve. They're not releasing the version with the updated graphics other than, I think, just resolution and frame rates. And possibly um, widescreen, but I don't think... One of the versions has widescreen and the other doesn't. I think the Xbox Live version, or the Xbox version, does not have widescreen. It's weird, and like, one has online multiplayer and one doesn't. The updated version for Xbox is going to be added to Rare Replay. I could be getting my information wrong, but I do believe that they have different online capabilities. Xbox version has no online multiplayer. Yeah, that's so fucking weird. For those watching this in the future, a Nintendo Direct... Sorry, Midtendo Direct dropped. And, um... It was actually pretty decent. In retrospect, there was a lot of stuff, and there was something for everyone, I think. Even if I wasn't into all the farming games and the JRPGs, it still had a lot of good stuff in it. It just wasn't... You know, it wasn't spectacular. I thought it was it was cool. And if they showed more Pikmin gameplay, or any Pikmin gameplay, I would have enjoyed it even more. But they did reveal Goldeneye for the eShop. They basically skipped E3, so expectations were higher. Even higher. From within your mind, no one else can find the life that you inspire. From another place, not from outer space, from some place even higher. Fun fact, the Rem Lazar screening for the Blu-ray release was September 11th, sorry, no, September 12th and September 13th of this year. Not September 11th, I'm sorry, bad information. September 12th and September 13th. And I was at the one on the 13th. Um, can't get over how good that interview was. Well, thanks. Alright, I'm not gonna do all the missions. In fact, I'm not- <clears throat> God damn it, my voice. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, that's an awesome swag suit for Mario. That's what they call it, right? Now, that's the, um, Mario Odyssey wedding outfit, if I'm not mistaken. This is going to be a relatively shorter segment, because... I mean, you already got the idea. It's Goldeneye... ...with Mario characters. On its own, this would have been fine in a collection. But, the newest update added the castle level. Which, I thought would be cool for like a 20-25 minute segment. Just check out some of the Cooper designs. See what Mario looks like. Fail some missions, use a club. Get a little bit of nostalgia. Vinny, there's a GoldenEye Boneworks mod. That's cool. Did Jack sing the songs or were they dubbed over? Those are his, I mean, those are his vocals. He was in a rock band or two and was able to sing and so they hired him because he looked the part, he could act. I actually think he does a pretty good job in that movie. Like for that, you know, that being his first starring role in one of his first movies. Like watching it, I mean, the movie is silly as fuck because it's, it's a kid's movie made in the late 80s by a non-experienced director. But he did a pretty good job. 
has he done other movies since? He's got like 80 credits on IMDb. And including a couple movies that I was surprised to see him in. But yeah, he's he's actually an actor. The Rem Lazar actor did not make the movie like Tommy Wiseau. That wasn't his pet project. He was just the hired gun for the role. But they hired him because he could act, sing, and, you know, his hog was big. Uh, and But no, he really, I think he did a pretty good job in the role. They had to put him in a hog belt. What movie was this? This is Creating Rem Lazar. It's that song I just played. He can act, he can sing, he can dance, and cry! He was in Porky's. He was in Porky's. So much more than a regular guy! Vinny, why do you talk so much about hogs? I'm sponsored by Big Hog. Um, that's why you see Solid Hog. That arm is funny. That's why there's a Solid Hog tag. And if I have to meet the hog quota... Mm. Colonel, it's me, Solid Hog. I've infiltrated Shadow Moses Island. I found Big Hog. All right, Snake, you've met quota. The advertisers will be pleased. Chat, any maps that have, um, you know, maybe Depot would be good? you want at these settings. I used to do this as a kid. I used to bump up their health to like a thousand. Koopa the quick, more like Koopa the slow. Koopa the dead. Did you ever notice how funny it is that James Bond would make one-liners about people getting electrocuted by toasters and shit? Shocking. Like, bro, you just killed a guy. Positively shocking. That's how he copes? James Bond huffs the copium, is what you're telling me? A li he has a license to cope? <laughs> I kind of want to see, like, a cut of this. Like, this gameplay footage. And then, like, real footage of a dude just shooting turtles. I don't want to see that. But I'm just saying, like, if it was, like, animated. No, I don't want to see- no, I No, I don't want to see it! No! I don't want to- I don't want to see it. There is one more thing I'd like to see before I do the Mario. I mean, you, you can see. You get an idea. <laughs> you 
it appears that we are cellmates. <laughs> Who are you anyway? The name's a Mario. Super Mario. Princess Peach Toadstool of the Mushroom Kingdom. Charmed to meet you, Peach. Why have you been locked up? They think that I am a traitor, that I betrayed them. And did you? Of course not. Bowser stole the golden eye. Oh, yeah. Colonel Koopa, Bowser Koopa, king of uh, the Koopas. I've uh, never met him before. Bowser is a general now in charge of the space weapon program. Shit. What brings you to Siberia, Super Mario? Never thought I'd heard that phrase in my life. I work for a private organization. I'm looking for a stolen helicopter. Oh, that doesn't matter anymore. Why am I? We've both been imprisoned here. We will be shot. I don't think so. I have a cunning plan. I'm gonna exit the level. Unlock the lobby star doors, basement star doors, third floor star doors. You get the idea. Oh yeah. This is the main attraction. They didn't do the the trees that follow you. Maybe they couldn't in the Golden Eye engine. Just enjoying the Golden Eye music. Nice grenade. <laughs> Actually, that kind of works, that laugh for Bowser. Okay, this is really, really well done. We live in a time where L is not only real, but James Bond is, is Mario. Or vice versa. Crazy. Chris Bratt as next Bond? Yeah, why not? Take away every role from every other actor. Take, take away roles from voice actors. Just give it all to Chris Pratt. He's so cute. Hey, you guys, I heard Chris Pratt is so cute. Can you go into paintings? No, you can't even jump. I wasn't sure if that grenade was a bad grenade. It looks like... Yeah, there's no bullet holes. Just there's no way to get up there. just a geometry port, so the load zone area would still be there. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> That's really fucking funny. Oh, I wanted the guns. Stairs first. Goofy fucking turtles. God. I need body armor. Vinny, what are your thoughts on the Baghdad battery? Ancient aliens. Clearly. is road. Interesting. What does it mean? I'm surprised there was never a James Bond villain called the Roadhead. Or something like that. Considering some of the names they've gone with. me mips the rabbit. <laughs> yeah, sure it is. Optimal movement speed. Oh, there we go. There's some body armor. Optimal movement speed right here. So much time spent in Goldeneye just strafing and moving at a 45 degree angle. Yeah, if you're not looking at the floor, it's not as it's not as good. All right, you ready for a speed run? Um, do you actually? Dumb question. Very dumb question, but do you actually move faster if you look down? Oh, the lag! That's right, it's lag reduction. I forgot about that. And Goldeneye on the N64 certainly had a lot of that.
I may save state. Because <laughs> I don't want to lose the progress. Give me a second here, chat. I'm just uh, doing exactly that. Wait, is there a way to do that in 1964? Vinny, they didn't have video games in 1964. Shit. I don't see an option for it, chat. Oh yeah, now it is. I got it. I found it. Okay, this was getting kind of intense, actually. Let's see if I can do this. I ideally, I would like to do this, do this, do this, without having to use the save state. No, it didn't work. LJ. I'm hoping they'll just throw grenades at each other. and I won't have to do much shooting. Uh... Something like that. Oh! They look like they have a bonnet on. Look at that, it's a bonnet. Oh, because they're babushkas. I, I get it. Why is the video constantly glitching? Is it? Seems okay here. Is that the literal one guy? So often one guy is actually several. Glitching happens on mobile. Mobile. That's the Queen's English. The King and Country, James. Do that. That was amazing. Double O is not correct, actually. It's double zero. Z. 
Z. Grenade, no grenade. This motherfucker has a moonraker. Bows. Looks like Bowser is up for early retirement. Yahoo! But little does Mario know. <laughs> Bowser, not date. That was really cool. Again, really not a ton to check out right now, but if more levels are ever implemented, I would check those out. It's just a really, really good ROM hack. Yeah. Does multi work? I don't know. <laughs> 